First the fat boys break up, now every day I wake up, somebody got a problem with ho. Sit tight bastard, I'ma grip my ratchet, this 12 will break it up quicker than midnight madness. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc, etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly on IG. All of the, um, you know, people that got clothing lines, things like that, that want to get their merch to weather myself or Showtime SP, you can hit me up on IG. Uh, yeah, salute to everybody out there. I hope all is well with y'all in y'all personal lives and things like that. So, you got this whole midnight madness, midnight madness. Where are we going now? Um, ah, man, there's so much to unpack here. So Jack Boy Maine has now too left Midnight Madness. He made his announcements yesterday. He had a couple of interviews. He was talking to Angry Fan. He, you know, he he went live and spoke about it too. And the consensus that I got from Bill Collector and from hearing Jack, and I know and I know Jack pretty well too. Um, they felt like the Everything that went right when it came to Midnight Madness, whether it be the promotion, the battles, the whole thing, Surf got all the credit for it, you know what I'm saying? But when it came to the drama, the BS, so many situations that went left, it was on everybody. And then there was this whole big thing about money, you know what I'm saying? Who's spending this, who's spending that? So there were a sponsor or sponsors that were involved. And one of the, you know, the sponsors is basically looking at it like this. Without Surf, there's no Midnight Madness. It wouldn't have happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, un not, like Jack, he's doing good at Battle Rap. Bill's doing good. He won 100000 in the tournament. But these guys with this big money to make these things happen are just not going to be funneling money into names like a Bill or a Jack. No disrespect, but they want to go with the superstars. Surf put his name in there, so that's the one who's, you know, got the acclaim. So the other guys look at it like this. Bill Collector had an event. Jack had an event, which was the gauntlet, where they had a bunch of MCs come down there, get a shot, and they put all the battles out. And then Surf had his events, right, down in Atlanta. They taking niggas bowling and all this other shit. And the question becomes, well, why this person ain't putting up money or that person ain't putting up money? It's a little different because it's like this. If you and two of your people get together and y'all put some shit together and one person is getting money sponsored in, you know, that's not really his money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is his money because the sponsor's giving it to him, but you can't compare what you doing with money somebody gives to you compared to money out of my pocket that I'm using to pay my bills, feed my family, and shit like that. So, Jack basically announced that he's leaving Midnight Madness, too. He's like, he's good on it. And I said this from the beginning. First of all, Midnight Madness was a good idea, but it didn't last a year. Uh, I'm sure, And I've seen that Bill Collector... Is now starting his own battle league called Sudden Death Battle League. Uh, where I, I haven't spoke to him, but uh, it's called uh, Sudden Death Battle League this August. You know, and he's got people to contact in order to uh, get on that. Uh, battle leagues don't be nothing but cameras and a YouTube channel. As long as you got some cameras, as long as you got some microphones, as long as you got some people that'll rap and a YouTube channel, you can start a league. So uh, Jack is like. He ain't going for that, you know what I'm saying? Especially when he knows that there's niggas that he feel like knew the whole situation all along and how things was going. Now, when it comes to Jack, like I said, he's been able to rejuvenate his career, turn it around, get bigger battles. I said yesterday that he wanted to battle K-Shine. I feel like he still wants that battle. But at the same time, you gotta, when you got a situation like a Midnight Madness, which had potential to do really good things, but you have so many egos involved. Especially, I, I, when I saw, I said when I saw so many belts involved, and once Snake Eyes had the first belt, and the belt got took, and then the belt got bought back, it, it devalued the whole Midnight Madness anyway, because it was like eight belts, all these niggas running around with belts, belt, 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 and then he got Stumbles that has a belt, but in the battle that Stumbles has against Snake, he's saying, fuck sir, fuck this, fuck that. So he's basically, he, he took a belt, then he won a belt, and now he's shitting on the belt. He didn't get all his money, and you know, a lot of people are saying 1200, 1200, 1200. The 1200 thing is, Stumbles got 800, but he's really going on this campaign because he wants the rest of his money. Now, I think it's kind of petty 
Like, Stumbles is just being petty about it. Like, he could have, I'm sure that, well, he, first of all, I said it the other day that if it's a bet, the money should be there. It shouldn't be no after the battle, I got to wait a week, my check got to clear. Everybody, they talk this big money shit. When you talk this big money shit, you should, you should have the money right there. Not saying just surf, whoever's putting that money up or betting that money. Fire boy, fire, he came, he had his bread right there. He said, nah, we're going to up the stakes. I'm putting two more bands on it. Now, since then, has Stumbles got money? Of course, he got money from URL for the battle. He got money from Fireboy Fire for the battle. He got the little 800 for the battle. And then they put his uh, cash app or GoFundMe or whatever the case may be, and they rose him up some more bread. He deserves all of that. He got kids. He said he has six kids. Six kids. Are you niggas kidding me? Bro, I would lose my mind with six kids. Did you niggas just see that shit on Instagram with the shorty who father brought, the, the, the dad brought the McDonald's for the one kid? But the other three kids, and she was wilding and threw the McDonald's and shit like that. Do you niggas know how much it costs? I know that some of y'all in here have multiple kids, two, three, four kids, and I'm getting a little off the subject, but fuck it. Do you know how much it costs to feed four or five kids? And nowadays, these kids don't eat no little Happy Meal. The Happy Meal being a small ass box with a cheeseburger, a small fry, and a little drink. They be wanting number twos, number threes, number five. You add all that shit up, that shit be costing $50, $60. Listen, I'm here to feed my kid and my kid only. That's just my personal opinion. So. Stumble said he got six kids in the house. And they ain't playing about no money. You know how much it costs when they have to buy six pairs of sneakers, bro? Six pair? The Jordan come out, you get you gotta get your size. You gotta get wifey size. And then the sick, bro, that's oh my god. Oh. Stumbles, I hope all is well with you. I know you just lost your pops and shit too, you know what I'm saying? God bless his soul. But um, back to this Jack thing. Jack is the type of person that He's going to call it like it is. He's going to say what he feels. He don't give a fuck about no aura. He don't. See, that's the thing with Stumbles is cut from that cloth, too. My life not yours, respectfully. He's going to say whatever he feel. He don't care. He ain't, he ain't put, holding no punches. He ain't holding nothing back. He's going to let you know exactly what it is, how he feel, and that's the end of it. But with Jack Boy leaving and Bill Collector leaving, I'm sure... Surf is probably, he'll probably still do the Midnight Madness thing, but I don't think it's going to be the same because of the way this situation went all over $1,200. Like, you got Verve out there still talking shit. And I know Verve is just being petty because, you know, he don't like Surf, so it's like, shit, if a nigga that you don't like has an issue, you're going to compound that issue. So, Bill Collector says yesterday, y'all celebrating with Verb, and he ain't did shit for y'all. Shit, he won't even add y'all as speakers. Like... It'd be crazy when you see the rappers be praising or the fans and people be praising rappers and they don't add them. They won't follow them on Twitter. They won't like nothing that they post. They won't follow them on Instagram and they won't even add them as speakers. I never really did the spaces thing. It's just not my thing because it'd be a lot of arguments and shit like that. And niggas be like, it'd just be wild. Like, like it just like, to me it always seemed like a lot of people don't really have control of it. But um, to each their own. Everybody has their vice or their avenue. And plus I don't be having the two, three hours to sit around and just talk about shit all day. Like I could do this. I do a 10, 15 minute video, I drop that shit and I go on about my day and that's the end of the, the situation. I can't do all day long. So Verb says, adding a bunch of people to talk is why y'all spaces went sour. We keep it pure, no hate. It's laws to the universe. And y'all don't know that yet and put the 1200. Like that 1200 is gonna be a joke. There's gonna be bars about that 1200 or whatever the 1200 is. This is not a time to <laughs> battle a nigga like Goods or no nigga that talk that money shit because uh, the company definitely, and what from what I heard from Stumbles, uh, well, was it Jack? It was Jack. He was like, the 1200 was like the Kickstarter, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 they've been had issues, it been, you know, controversy and shit, but once that $1,200 situation happened, it just took it to the next level, because I seen Jack, like, exposing the fact, because Surf said, allegedly, that he didn't find out about the money on the line and all this other shit until the day of. But Jack posted the screenshot of Surf retweeting the shit days before, so he knew that it was going to be a bet. See, the thing is, like I told y'all niggas with these bets, a nigga will bet with you as long as it's beneficial to them, and then if a nigga lose, they can back out of this shit. So what the nigga was basically saying was, you knew about this shit in advance, you know what I'm saying? Like, you knew that your name and $2,000 was being put down. But I'm going to just be honest with you, this whole shit... And then Surf said he owns 100% of Midnight Madness. That rubbed him the wrong way. Jack was like, yo, I'm putting in work. I'm, I'm grinding. I'm hustling with a nigga. And the first time he get the opportunity to talk about it, he's saying he owns 100% of this and this is all me. 
If it's all you, well, fuck it, then what do I got to do with it? Um, but I definitely say yesterday I felt like it was too many Chiefs and not enough Indians. And that's just battle rap in general. Like, everybody wants to be the boss. Everybody wants to be that nigga in charge. Everybody wants to be the, 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 the capo, the head person. But heavy is the head that, fo that holds the crown. When you up there in a leadership position when some shit go wrong, Jada Kid said it on um, I Love You mixtape. If something happens while you was in charge, then you was to blame. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're in charge. You're the man. You're the one that gets the acclaim when shit goes right. It also is the one that's going to get the shit when shit goes wrong. But uh, rest in peace to Midnight Madness. Uh, it was a good thing. Got a couple careers. Kick-started. You know what I'm saying? It helped. Uh, you know, it helped Luke Castro get back in the fold. Luke Castro was losing battles. He beat Big T and got a belt. Uh, Nunna versus Snake. Snake got a belt. Shuni had got a belt. Niggas I never even heard of got belts. Everybody got a motherfucking belt. Um, but, you know, I'm just letting y'all know, Jack Boy Maine has officially departed from Midnight Madness. He's good on that too. Um, let me know when y'all when y'all need me to. Well, 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 I got it. I still got it. Got it, got it. Good.